we're a change agent. We're a government organization, so we're um, what they call a statutory authority. So I have a very small team of people, uh, 15 people plus me, and we, I report to a board and I also report to a minister, Minister for Environment and Conservation. He also looks after climate change. So my, um, the organization is very uh, small, but it's very agile. Um, and, and that's the kind of organization that we are. We're funded from uh, a levy on waste to landfill, so landfill tax, and some of that money comes to us, some of it goes to the Environment Protection Authority. And we're allowed to spend a, a proportion of that money with and back into the waste industry. There's, there's no real secret to this, to be honest. Um, I find that if you, if you go and talk to people and listen to their, their issues and work on trying to solve those problems with them, and you do solve the problem and you get, then you get credibility and you start to build um, what I, I would call an esprit de corps around these issues. So it's about engaging with people, it's about in, and rather than institutions. So you need to find champions, you need to find people who are willing to invest, if you like, their time or their intellect in trying to solve some of the problems. Once you, once you do that, you're on a roll. You know, it's, it makes it a lot easier to bring others into that. Uh, in terms of the community, it's about, you know, it's, waste is something that's very tactile. It's, everybody has an interaction with waste every day. So they're either putting something in their bin or they're buying something or they're trying to get rid of something. It, it's a daily issue, whether you're in business, whether you're at home. And so the idea is that you can have a discussion about those issues with almost anybody at any time. The moment someone at a barbecue finds out that I'm from, that I work in the waste area, all of a sudden they all want to have a discussion about waste. They don't much care about anything else anymore. It's all about the waste issues. Why have we got this bin? Why don't we have this? Why haven't we done this? Why haven't we done that? So it, all of a sudden you can have a conversation and then you can pick up on the, listen to the key points and then use that to inform how you're going to uh, respond, you know, either as a, as a, as a government organisation or even as an individual in that situation. First of all, um, we have to work with industry, which is about resource efficiency. And so this is to reduce waste from industry. And they came to us and they said that they would like to do something ar around the, the resort. And from, from my perspective, it, it's worthwhile, it was worthwhile investing in this to see how far we could, we could move things in a short space of time. Um, but fundamentally, we helped out with um, provision of um, money for bins that were um, designed for the, for the locations they were in. We, we gave people um, the opportunity to recycle their food waste out of, out of, um, out of those um, cabins and things like that. So they had a small bench top container with a... Um, um, compostable bag in it that they could put food waste in. And then we labelled all the bins around the resort, so re for recycling, for containers and for general waste to landfill. All of a sudden, um, we also found that there was somebody in, in Holdfast Shores who wanted to drive this. So we had a champion in the organisation who was really willing to go the extra mile to convince the board uh, to, to put in these changes. And the, the way that, that I construct the argument for them is that this will save you money. So you have less cleaning costs, you have less um, 
cost for waste companies to come and take this stuff away. Um, you're engaging with your residents. So all of a sudden you have a point of difference to everywhere else that they go. You can demonstrate your um, credentials in sustainability and waste management to anyone who comes there. And they come from all over the country and, and from all walks of life, I might add. So it's a very diverse, this isn't high end. This is um, cabins, caravans and um, small resort, you know, it's kid friendly. Um, but the, and so ju just by doing that and in educating people, making them aware of what the system is that they're now have in place, um, yeah, we got, we got that kind of an outcome. So it's all, it's all doable and it doesn't cost a lot of money, but it does, it, it requires commitment. It requires commitment from the chief executive down and you need a champion within the organisation as well who will drive it within the operational aspects of the organisation. They're the key things.